Today, we have an emotion-packed update about our beloved Springboks and the latest developments in South African rugby. Get ready, as we have many exciting updates to share. Last Saturday, the Bulls managed to advance to a home semi-final in the United Rugby Championship with a victory over Benetton, but this win came at a significant cost, just as the Springboks coaches were about to reveal their first squad of the year. Star player Kurt Lee Aronsey was involved in an unfortunate head collision with the former All Blacks player and had to be substituted prematurely. After the game, Bulls coach Jake White revealed that Arens was rushed to the hospital with a fractured cheekbone, but there is hope for a speedy recovery. Tomorrow, looks like he's uh, fractured the bone in his cheekbone. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's, so it's a fracture. It's not, it's not, when I say it's not too bad, it's a fracture. Put a plate in, try and get him in as quickly as I can. Um, not because we need him in the next two weeks, obviously, but uh, to get him ready for the tests. I think, again, every kid wants to be in the test squad. Um, and credit to our medical staff, found a, found a doctor, we'll do him tomorrow morning early. So, you know, that gives him, a, it's a little bit like the DuPont thing. DuPont got injured, got that operation the next mm. day. So, you know, it's always nice for our young players to to know that the medical staff of, of trying to put his interests, you know, obviously take his interests um, seriously and make sure that he can get ready whether it's three, four, five weeks, at least then by the time the international window starts, he's back. On Saturday evening, the Springboks announced an extended training squad, but Stephen Kitschhoff, Lou de Jaeger, and Jaden Hendrixy were some of the players not considered for the squad due to injuries. Europe-based players, as well as those based in the UK and Ireland, will not be considered for the Springboks' first test of the season against Wales at Twickenham. Players from the Bulls, who advanced to the United Rugby Championship semi-final, were also not considered for this squad. The squad includes 19 forwards and 16 backs, Rugby World Cup winning fly half Andre Pollard and number eight Jasper Weiss, who is serving a six-week suspension, were named in the group and will be able to train with their teammates, but will only be available for selection after the test against Wales. With all these updates, expectations are high for the upcoming challenges of our spring box. And you, fan, are you confident in Kurt Lee Arenz's recovery and the new faces that have been called up? How do you see the Springboks' chances in the upcoming season? Share your opinions in the comments.